get, get away from me. So you get away from me. Elegant back on the train here, fighting uh, fighting Cyro once again. Yeah, getting that run back that they had in the semi. And uh, if you were here earlier, you will remember that that was a 3-0. <laughs> and Cyro back with a vengeance, still fresh off of Nitro set. See if he's figured out something to do against the Weedy. Because like we said, he had an idea of what to do against the Weedy. He didn't know what to do against the uh, Elegant. Yeah, that was, a, that was, so, that was such a good way of putting it. Because you can know the Luigi matchup, but you don't know the Elegant matchup. Yeah, it, it applies to quite a few players. Like, you will know the matchup for a specific character, but how well do we know the player matchup? Uh-huh. Player matchups are also really important in fighting games. Yeah, back in air, but not gonna kill just yet. Great DI from Elegant. All he needed was just like an extra percent on that and would've killed. Well, I'm surprised he actually didn't back there, but he does get the stock any uh, back throw, but he still gets the stock anyways after the down throw up air, uh, up B. He still, yeah, he still got that kill. Down throw up B, just not an okay confirm. But how many confirms are okay these days? It is ultimate. Yeah, like, with, with how much we see in ultimate, it's like, oh, you can do that too? Cool. Like, all right. But, elegant. Not making it look all right for the sword man right here. He got so much damage. Hey, come over here, like, yeah. <laughs> like get over here. I can kind of acting like Scorpion out here. Oh, I just took him off the ledge with that cyclone. Yeah, the vacuum effect on this on the cyclone is massive. You would not expect Luigi to be able to like ledge guard you well, but the way that Elegant does it, it's just so he puts so much pressure on. He'll throw out the Zare, the fireball, and then all those on shield, you get a free grab or do whatever you want, and then he'll just stand there, wait for the reaction, and then do cyclone because it's invincible. Yeah, and. And most of what what Elegant wants uh, like wants you to do is like sort of unreactable because like he has an answer for almost everything. And fire jump punch. Did you think that was okay? That? Did you think that was fine? <laughs> that was so dominant. <laughs> he said, "You're not gonna play." Oh my god. I want I want my run back on Rosno, bro. <laughs> Cyro again getting three stock going over to town and city. He needs to figure out something. He'll get the damage, but he's not finding these shots. Really? Most of saw when he got that jab after an 80. But that oh. when it didn't kill you, like, wait a minute, this might not be good. But going over to the crop now, gonna value the consistency of the blade. Yeah, because a lot of a lot of the hits that he was trying to do, he got the right idea, but see the thing about having the echoes like Krom and Lucina with Mark and Roy is that you know if you get a specific hit with, say, with Roy, and you didn't kill, you'd be like, yeah, if it was Krom, it would've hit. And it seems reverse for Mark and Lucina. It's just like choosing your poison. Oh my god, that wasn't all right. Wait a minute, bro. Sire, where was this earlier? Well, then again, he hasn't taken the stock yet. He could not get hit. Oh wait, no, he did play Krom against him. I remember now. Yeah, bro, I think he went Krom game one last set. And he's on the ledge. He finally gets off. Damage. Like that double jump not allowing to come back. Yep, yeah, we're, we're not gonna mess that one up. Give me that. Alright. And now Cyro, I, I think this is the first lead that he's had since he's played it today. Yeah. 62%, but this might not be good. Going low, like you said, you don't want to go low against Luigi. You have so many tools to switch you away. And even if down there doesn't spike it, sit so horizontally, get away from the right <laughs> job. Even if, yeah, even if like the Luigi down air or the karate chop, like, or even if down air just doesn't spike, it sends more awful anyways. And what a conversion with the Nair into up smash there. He's continuing this combo here. He's gonna go with Nair one jab, back air not gonna connect. Yeah, I don't really know what, I mean, I don't it, know. I think maybe like a falling up air, like fair up air or something like that would've been a better idea. It, it's a little bit weird with Krom because of the consistency of Falchion. Uh, I think that the Nair 1 to pop into Jab was, was the better idea. Because uh, Nair 1 always pops. Like, I believe it pops consistently at every percent. Yeah, you just hit the I'm pretty jab. sure it has that like, set knockback. Yeah. So you can do like Nair 1 F smash, which is a fun confirm to hit. Alright, not going to be able to confer, uh, commit to the edge guard here, but he gets the back yeah, air. Back here, yeah. Good stuff. Saro didn't have that lead, but at 144%, you have to go the stocks on. 
number days and commentators curse if I've ever seen it. Yeah, again, uh, as I was saying in the previous set, uh, I feel like if Cyro's gonna be playing Prom, he needs to fade back a little bit more because he's playing with an even blade. It doesn't matter whether he's close or far. He's just gonna be poking that shield and forcing Elegant to respect him a little bit more. That's true, you might as well stay far so at least he can't touch you. Cause Again, like we see, once he does, you you feel so bad. You can't do anything about it, basically. All right, gets so gets a uh, cross up double edge chance there. He gets a four smash. smash. Yeah. Again, like I was saying, or not like I was saying, but with Luigi, the fact that his number one like good landing option is that cyclone, it scoops you in. It's invincible. He eats up a lot of hits. But you know, just like cyclone has always been, it's that laggy move. Yeah. Once you once you commit to it, if, if it's on block, you get a full punish. And once you can bait that out, that's really how you beat Luigi. You need to bait out these options and go in and punish his laggy moves. That once he hits, you get a lot of off of it. Yeah, and Elegant really trigger happy with the Cyclone. Uh, very apparent in just in, in the way in general he plays. Yeah, Cyro just calling it out. Cyclone may have got changed some Smash 4, but it's still a, still a move to be, to be feared. The move to be reckoned with right there. And not gonna be able to get any punish off of that whiff dash attack there. Great carry. Alright, down throw into back air. Very nice conversion from Elegant. I'm surprised you spot dodge instead of trying to parry. Um it's better just to, to spot dodge it. Uh, because if you miss if, if you miss the parry, you're, you're just Oh getting, yeah, it's better to parry to go up. Yeah. When, when it goes up. I'm, my mistake. <laughs> yeah, uh, when, if you can parry Krom on his way up, uh, if you have a fast move, I relatively like, like frame seven ish. Really? I thought it had to be like frame three or something. Counters come out of like frame eight. So if you parry, uh, if you parry Krom up and you just have a counter, you could counter up as as soon as your, your parry starts up. And you'll you'll hit Chrome. So you you just need like a seven minus move, and you can just basically get Chrome like that. Yeah, I don't think anyone like has labbed out like how many frames exactly you need like to do this cloud smash four. But again, yeah, if you have that fast move, for me, for me, I thought it was like really uh, short. But if it is that big, that's really cool. But yeah, the the extended freeze frames on the uh, carries definitely help out in punishing recoveries like I can Chrome. I from and cloud once you get that parry you you get so much for it. Also it looks really cool. Down throw, not gonna go into the back air there, tries to read a DI up. That goal. Oh my god, put him in the dirt. Elegant up three stocks now. Like what super armor you got there? Like? Yeah, he did it before it even came out. I don't have time for that. Yeah, he's trying to get to, to grands, like I understand. But very smart. F tilt does reach below the uh, right on the ledge. Don't know if it reaches below, but I know it reaches right on it. Speaking of reach, this damage. It's this God. damage or reach itself, like, it's not okay. Nice tech from Syro there. Barely missed that there, that would've been a good amount of damage. Another Cyclone. Yo, and angle down, we're gonna take it. Yep, just serving it on the silver platter. Syro's still not looking too terrible on these matches. It's just once he gets hit, he's taking so much damage. Mm -hmm. He really needs to capitalize once he gets his punishes and take it as far as you can and just make it so Luigi can't hit you because he's in disadvantage all the time. Yeah, and Syro, he, he was doing well at the beginning, honestly. But again, he needs, he needs to space a little bit more. Um, but that is hard, especially with the fact that Green and Cyclone just back into it. Like, you can't really, really safely hit Luigi. Like, I say try to use the tipper a little bit more, but the fact that he can just follow you with that vacuum even when you're retreating is, it, it, it's like a deterrent. It, it's, it's like a deterrent for trying to punish Luigi. Yeah, I understand that. Oh, great tech though, give me that stage control. That air grab again. Also, noticing Saro uh, go, again going back to Yoshi's story, seems like he really likes the stage. It, 
I'm surprised he actually opted to not go Chrom here. It does help Chrom a little bit more. Uh, he's not gonna be susceptible to uh, some weird stage bikes here, except on like the very ledge. And he ha he can hug the wall if he wants to. Doesn't have to worry about like getting pineapple. And then the tip, uh, and then he could use the the crazy knockback of Fauci and herself just to uh, kill Luigi a little bit earlier. That would be more. Really low for that down air. Not gonna hit yet though. It's amazing how deep Luigi can go in and then still recover. Like, he's literally at the bottom of the blast zone, jump up being like, of course I'm gonna make it back. I remember when people, like, were weak negative one, they were like, Luigi can't recover like he used to, and I was just like, yeah, you wanna bet? I, I mean, to be fair, people were very excited with, like, that might be it, yeah. Counter, yeah, too low. Counter looks like it's a little too much lag. Yeah, the weak negative one, again, people were just excited that Luigi didn't have the same cyclone. So, like, oh, this character sucks, and then you see here to death you easily. People were just excited because like, ah, oh, Luigi's finally bad. I don't have to worry about him anymore. You still do. You still do. Well, again, just reminding us. Continuing this damage, Syro not having a real answer in this game here. Yeah, it's not really. He hasn't had much to answer in this set. It just seems like whenever... He yeah, they air dodge. He was too scared of Misfire hitting him. Yeah. I honestly would have just taken the Misfire at that point. Yeah, I could have teched. I could have teched and it would have like, left Luigi there. I think it was just like that scared reaction. He saw it, he's like, oh, I need to yeah. Yeah, try to attack there. So, Syro gonna end it out at third place here, but finally taking a game off of Elegant. Much better than the first set earlier. Great, hey, man. Third place, respectable. But, you know, he, you know he wanted to move on, get that set against Razo, and Elegant back here in grand, like he said. I will be back here, and he's gonna try.